It was inevitable that his sister eventually found out about his little secrets, but she was not bothered and never said a thing about it. She was growing up fast herself and more interested in her own life than what her mum and Peter were up to. The next morning she was due to go away with the school for a few weeks travelling as part of one of her courses. So back to the evening in question. Where Peter found himself watching a film as ever with his sister and mum. Once this is finished, said his mum, I am going to drop Charlotte off at her friends ready for her trip in the morning. That's fine, I replied, I will wait around until you get back, then I will head off myself I guess. Mum never replied, she just waited for the film to end then got up and left the room. My sister soon following her after giving me a kiss on the cheek first and saying to me. Have fun little brother. I glared at her, she loved to call me little brother even though I was the elder. But I figured she was just messing around and left it at that. I heard them loading the car up and leaving soon after. Mum was thinking she missed having fun and did not get much satisfaction herself now things were just left to her and her two children. It was about twenty minutes later that Mum returned, walking into the living room and smiling to herself. I was about to get up to leave when Mum interrupted me. You're off tomorrow sweetie, so why don't you spend the night here, you can sleep in your sister's room as she is gone. I am sure we can find you something to wear. You know Peter most of Charlotte's old clothes would actually fit you, said mother. I thought that I would pass out as soon as my mum mentioned that Charlotte's old clothes would fit me. I knew full well that they would from previous experience. But now it sounds like she actually wanted me to try them and wear them for her. I wanted to so badly but just hoped that I could control myself. It was mum that broke the silence first, surprising me once more. You know I would love to see you wearing her pretty pink and white lacy cotton training bra and panties. But you are too grown up for clothes more suited to an early teen. And you wouldn't really think about wearing something cute like that, something that was made for your little sister now would you? My face felt like it was burning red and I was feeling so humiliated. I couldn't believe that my mum would tease me like that or ask to see how I look wearing my little sister's training bras and panties that she has outgrown. I was trying to get some words out but could not think what to say, but mum was now just getting into her stride with me, wanting me to feel a little more humiliation. I think that you will spend the night here with mummy, she said to me. You will go upstairs now and have a bath and I will sort out something for you to sleep in. I wanted to refuse as I knew this would get out of hand. Yes mummy, was all that I could reply, so I headed upstairs to the bathroom. I ran the water, adding some baby bubbles and began to undress. Come on, into the water, mum said with a quick slap on my bum, helping me into the water and giving me a sponge. I know all about you little fantasies after cleaning your apartment while you were away. I can assure you that you will get your fill of fantasy and humiliation. So what do you say, do you want to be my special little sissy girl for the weekend?